Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting. And get out there in the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel so that I may purchase more materials to do interesting science videos on by supporting me on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period. And I appreciate your financial support. Today's demonstration is on chemistry. Let's take a look at what we're going to do. I have two beakers. Each beaker has a white solid in it in a powder form. Here is an empty jar. I'm going to pour the 20 grams that are weighed out into the jar. Now I'm going to pour 20 grams of the second white solid together. I'm going to take the jar and put the lid on. And what we see we can see this are the two white solids together. Now I am going to vigorously shake the tube. Now we see the two white solids have turned into a yellow color. What is going on? The title of this video is the solid phase double replacement reaction, also known as the, as the solid phase double displacement reaction, and also known as the solid phase double exchange reaction. What kind of reaction is going on? The first beaker I had was lead to nitrate. The second beaker I had that was a white powder also was potassium iodide. What had happened between these when I simply shook them together was that they reacted. But you may say, how can there be a chemical reaction if the two, 
If the two solids are not put into solution first and then mixed together, where if they do react, a precipitate will form and, and solidify out? And the answer is, it is this special kind of reaction known as a solid phase double replacement reaction. In this reaction, the anion, in this case iodine, of one molecule and the anion of the other, in this case nitrate, swap places on the mo molecule. These are the reactants. And our products from the lead 2 nitrate reacting with the potassium iodide are lead 2 iodide and potassium nitrate. These are our products. So we have two new molecules that have reacted together and formed two reactants. Those two products are the lead 2 iodide and the potassium nitrate from the reactants lead 2 nitrate and potassium iodide. Now all we have to do is balance the equation. And you remember how we do that. We have one lead here in the reactants and we have one lead here in the products, so that's balanced. We have two iodines in the products. We need to put a two prefix two in front of potassium iodide. Now that's balanced. We have one NO3 here, and we have two NO3 here. So we'll put a two here to balance with that. And now we have one lead, one lead, two iodines, two iodine anions, balanced. We have two potassium. We have two potassium over here now, and the equation is balanced. So you can see. Two solids can react together. And this is Frank from Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, to keep looking down.